Alright. There's part of the completed project. Now, part of the uh, preparation, of course preparation is the key, is patching any of the spots that are stressed or little leak spots. This is Jeff here. Right here's two spots that are split open. And I got the membrane cleaner. A little bit on the rag here. Back and back and forth. Get the chalk and stuff off of it. See what you end up with. Same thing over here. Good and clean. Like I said, you can end up with so I'll let that dry a little bit. It shouldn't take long. I got my patches already cut. Right. Put a little bit of primer down on this with a three-inch roller. Now they say you don't need the primer, but if you use this primer, which is basically like a contact cement, only it's uh, quite a bit thinner. Uh, really fix a lot the uh, the tape is an adhesive backed patching tape, six inch. But if you use that primer and put this down, you'll have to rip the roof off yeah, in order to tear that patch back off. Yeah. Once you set it in place, it's there. <clears throat> the way we look at it is, if you're going to put something on the roof that's going to last 15 to 20 years, you don't want whatever's underneath coming back up. Now you can see where we've taped previously here. And there's a little patch right there. Also, if you have any areas that are prone to uh, stress, you want to get those quickly and, and right off. We'll cover later. this wheel that rolls right on the edge of that packs this right down right up on the edge and you find the shadow stuff in this see that edge take this wheel right up and down it push right down on it works back and forth I can't even begin to pull that up yeah that's how strong that sticks on there. Alright, good. Okay, this is our modified uh, Typhoon wet dry vac. We put some fat tires on it so that uh, it doesn't sink into the foam covered insulation of the rubber roof. Uh, and it's got a front mounted squeegee on it. The wet dry vac, essentially with a front mounted squeegee. You could pick one of these up at any uh, good janitary, janitorial supply house. And this is a dual brush uh, scrubber, uh, lightweight, uh, and the brushes are not very aggressive. And that's what we use for cleaning the, uh, the material. All right, now you can see this area here and uh, where the seams are 
you'll see that there's a little bit of water so that we know that we have a problem here. Uh, these seams haven't been taped yet, but what we're going to do is clean this whole section of the roof first, essentially from the end of the seam that we did last year. Uh, you see that line right there. And over to the uh, roller back around this way. You can see the circle over there. This is the section here we're going to use this as a cleaning demonstration area. All right, so now we went down the area slightly, and uh, we have a, a cleaner with uh, it's a uh, basically alkaline cleaner that uh, we're using, and uh, it takes the uh, whatever it is. Oxidation cleans the oxidation off the roof. Now, if we were in an area where there was standing water, uh, where you might see some uh, greenness, there's some there. Say uh, this, you'd have to clean with a uh, with a bleach uh, solution. But when we're out here in the open, we just use an alkaline alkaline being like a Formula 409. Only this is a commercial grade. Uh, and it's uh, mixed to the point where it's uh, rinse free. All you have to do is scrub and uh, we do run a, another hose rinse over it just to make sure but you don't really have to rinse it. A little bit, yeah. This this will uh, this this is a gives a nice scrubbing action without really uh, beating on the uh, EPDM. getting out the uh, wet dry vac and a little bit of a rinse. Now this would be done on a larger scale if uh, you know for this is for demonstration purposes. Alright, so uh, we'll give this a uh, day or so of dry time and then it will be ready to coat. Okay, here's the clean and there's the dirty. So we lifted all the carbon right up off here, all the, all the chalk and all the dust and everything and got it lifted right up so we can apply the white membrane to it. Nice and clean.